there comes a time many years and years in a row for me, but there comes a time in the advent leading up to Christmas season where I just start to perceive everyone's exhaustion. And that includes my own sometimes. This year more I'm noticing it for other folks. I know there are college students uh, who are pushing themselves to finish their semester. I know there are people who are working in stores and online, you know, making deliveries to homes and all these things and just exhaustion for them and knowing that there are many days still to come of what they're doing um, to get it done. And also, um, I just think there's something about us that wants to sort of push. We have to get every detail right and do all these special things. And don't get me wrong, I know there are a lot of important details and traditions and things that we care about that bring us great care or great comfort and great joy. But also I think we can overstress um, about things. And a gift that we can give in this season, especially when there is craziness happening all over the world. I think because we cease to rest and because we have gotten into this overconsumption, overproduction mode, um, I think it is a gift to, to rest. And I have gotten this idea from a lot of people, but especially from um, an Instagram page called um, Black Liturgies, um, just talking about sort of rest as resistance. Um, to the craziness of the world and a way of um, caring for ourselves and our souls and our beings. And I think uh, the song It Came Upon a Midnight Clear really speaks to that a lot. And so I'm going to sing a verse of that. That's going to be too high. I'll sing it in a lower key. And ye beneath life's crushing load Whose forms are bending low who toil along the climbing way with painful steps and slow. Look now, for glad and golden hours come swiftly on the wing. Oh, rest beside the weary road. And here 